All right, hey everybody, it's that time again. Scrabble Go Tournament bonus round, and we have a returning champion this time, Dave Trill Green. I remember playing Dave maybe a year ago at this point, many months ago at least, when he won one of these um, community tournaments, and he is back on top, earning another game. Um, with me. So without further ado, we'll start a classic mode game here. And pretty good mix of tiles for me scoring bingo. As is my custom though, I will pass my turn and I'll let Dave open the game and we'll go from there. There we go. So stay tuned. For Dave's first move, and we'll get this thing underway. All right, we got a move here from Dave. It is Vug. This is a helpful word to know if you do not. The V and the U, not letters that go well together. So the words that have the two letters next to each other are quite rare and good to know. It takes an H. So this is definitely my my mind is going here. Question though is how will I be able to use as many of these tiles in good scoring spots as I can? So simple plays like this. Um, issue with this is that it puts an E here. Um, an E hook, I should say, in addition to an L, a couple other things, F. Um, whereas this creates an A hook of Hoya. It's also worth thinking about instead playing here, but that's a pretty decent, decent point sacrifice, like a lot. You can just see the difference in the points. 19 versus 28 it's way too big to pass up the additional thing about playing how here is that in the uk english lexicon this is also a word vuggy with this weird spelling so keeping the y actually is kind of nice um this is really risky though, just because plopping this E here, either I play the E and make it very easy to play a word through two double word scores, whether it be a bingo or just a seven letter word that doesn't use up all of Dave's tiles, it's gonna score quite well. Or I do this, and after a play like Vug, I'm definitely concerned I'm definitely very concerned after a play like Vug that his other four letters are strong and very likely contain an E as well. So I don't, I just, even though this Y hook is nice to keep, it's not that much of a game changer. I think I am preferring Hoy simply to make it a little more difficult to play in this row right here. Hoya, of course Dave could have an A, but it's not that likely he has a seven letter word with an A in sixth position, which is really what I want to avoid here. I'm just gonna go with my gut, which is telling me do not, even though Vuggy is a nice follow-up play, right? A play, if I play how, and I draw a play ending in a Y right here with, let's say, you know, 16 points for this and 20, 24. It's 31, but that's not that much higher than my normal average score. It's not like a game-breakingly big play. So I will play Hoy here. Um, just quickly, I don't know. I feel like I could easily be missing something a little bit better, but let's try this and see what we get. The W and the Y are kind of similar in their bingo potential. Okay, 
three vowels. Not exactly what we want, but at least I do get an A for potentially playing underneath there. And odds are quite good that um, my next play will be very much contingent on on Dave's. Right? If he plays down here, if he does something like what I might do, then I'm going to have another re-parallel that I don't currently have available on this board. So um, I'm pretty much waiting for Dave's next play. So interesting early move there. Okay, a move has come in. This is a pretty solid score. A lot of points somewhere. Kex. That is a pretty solid score. Now, there are absolutely overlapping possibilities here. Um, so... I would like the W to go there. It doesn't have to. I could put the R there. So like, this isn't a word, but something like this would be great. Um, Rowy doesn't quite fit. Owry is not going to play. Um, I guess it's not impossible that I could play something like this. This scores... Scores quite well. OW is not really the leave that I want here, but 34 points, pretty good. Um, let's imagine that I was going to play something else. Let's see what it would be. If I could play something like wire, would this be worth it? No, I don't think keeping three vowels, even though the W isn't a good bingo tile, it at least will help me score pretty well somewhere on the next turn. So, um, I don't think anything like this is very likely to be any better. The nice thing about this is it scores okay, and it leaves me with only two vowels as opposed to three. But frankly, I think Aerie is pretty reasonable play here. Um, all right, let's go for it. Um, Feels a little weird to keep OW here with all this good stuff, but 34 points with a balanced leave. Sure, let's go for it. Um, let's see what we draw. All right, the other, so two I's and the other W. It's not what we want to see at all. Um, so <laughs> uh, this could be tricky. Um, not really seeing anything that I, that makes me happy. I'm sure this is my quote unquote best play, but it's quite scary to actually make a play like that. So I guess, yeah, I mean, uh, it's nothing that's going to fit there. So I guess we'll just hope for Dave to make me some kind of better spot for these letters. Otherwise I'm going to be forced into a play that does not make me happy here. All right, another play is in from Dave. He has a narrow lead, 77 to 62. Let's see what he's got. Ambo, okay. I was kind of hoping to see an M hit the board so that I could play a meow, but of course, <laughs> these are very few of these are words. So we're going to have to come up with something else. Um, I think the question here probably revolves around whether I have the stomach to play this for 23, which is a decent play, or whether I exchange. Um, 23 points, and this this is not a good leave, but it's not like the two eyes aren't great, but if you were to remove one of the eyes, this is okay. You have two, two decent vowels and a good consonant. So um, the big issue with wow is just that it turns the S into an much more powerful tile than is currently than it is currently on this board and i don't have an s so i don't like to do that um other issue i guess a you know a couple sub issues with it is that wow is also a word so an f also becomes much stronger and i don't have that it's possible that maybe dave won't think of wow but he sure as heck is going to think of wows. Um, 
other issue is that this scoring spot right here, starting with this triple, uh, yes, okay, so I mean this spot right here going down has the potential to be pretty damaging as well. So a lot of drawbacks. The question is, I'm getting 23 points. We like scoring 23 points more than zero. It's 23 points better than zero. <laughs> um, I'm leaning towards playing this, even though it concerns me greatly, but hopefully I can get away with it without really badly regretting my choices here. It is worth noting also that, you know, there already is an S hook here. So by playing WOW here, I am making it possible to play six letter words ending in S that are not bingos for very, very high scores. But if he plays a bingo here, a normal bingo here is going to be you know between 60 and 70, and a bingo here is going to be between you know 85 and 100, which that is a big difference, but we're talking about 23 points, right? Like 23 points. It's about a I don't know. 23 isn't that different of a number than the difference in score between these two plays. So um, let's try this. Let's try this. I'm feeling bold, and we'll see what we draw. Okay, drew the Q. Not exactly what we want. It's worth noting there is a U here, and there are some interesting plays here. This is not a good play, I can tell you. Um, but at least it is a play, and it's almost a bingo using seven letters. Definitely imagining that um, the play I'm going to want to make is this for 38 using the Q on the triple. Um, okay, Dave is here. Um, it's not taking very long for his next play to come in, and I'm not seeing a massive score, so I'm okay with it. Okay, he burns the blank, and in fact, in so doing... He plays his F here. So that's fortunate for me just because a simple play of Wow and FUD using the same letters, keeping the blank, would have scored pretty similarly. So that's a very fortunate uh, break for me. That could have been much worse. Um, to say nothing of, you know, depending on what his seventh tile is, maybe there was a bingo in there. So um, that's very fortunate. And with that, I'm just going to not think about it too much and i think even though i'm keeping two eyes i really don't think i mean this is only 16 compared to a significantly higher score here 22 extra points you don't love keeping two eyes but for 22 extra points you do it without thinking too hard so um i think this has to be all right let's see if i can um draw not another eye okay two a's um Oh, wow. Actually, crazy as that is, <laughs> if I'm just able to get to next turn with this V still open, I have a bingo through the V of Caviari. So, um, which uh, that would be amazing with this rack. The difference between getting that bingo down and not with this rack uh, is pretty huge. All right, another move is in from Dave. He still has a narrow lead here. Um, nice play, violin with overlaps, including chi. So, um, oh yes, right, I remember. It's been a couple hours. <laughs> it's been a few hours, actually since I assessed this position, but uh, I forgot that, oh yes, as I'm remembering, I was waiting to see if this play got blocked and it doesn't. So that is very, very lucky, very helpful. Um, these letters, obviously two eyes, those are unwieldy. He might not have been able to play um, an overlapping play there. Okay, next set of letters. Um, I don't think I have a bingo here. Just looking around. However, I do have an H. The H plays in a whole bunch of spots here. Plays here, plays here. Definitely going to be some good plays with the 
H somewhere or other, whether it be something like this is going to be really strong, I think. 42. Okay, my lead quite short lived here as uh, Dave is now back in the lead after my bingo here, and he has played letterer. Nice. Okay. Um, so that creates not a lot of stuff that wasn't already on the board. So it did, it does block my nice play here. Um, of duty, duty. Um, Leaves me with this, which I'm okay with. That's going to get me kind of even. I guess I'm now a little concerned that a Z draw here is just going to plunk right down in this spot. So blocking it does have some advantage. I don't really... I mean, these, these plays... Any Game of Thrones fans out there? That would be okay, but... Um, Imbalance sleeve, two vowels and a consonant. Even if that were a word, but something like that is kind of appealing. Um, just taking a quick extra look to see that I'm not missing any bingos here. I really don't think I am. So um, I think I'm going to go back to my original backup plan of this play. I guess it's kind of unfortunate because it would be great to end something in an H and really hammer this spot hard. I just don't... I don't believe I have such a play here, so we're going to have to do this. Okay. Um, let's go with this, see what we get. D-I-N-T is pretty good. The extra nice thing about it is with this D... Well, what I was going to say is that with this D, I have actually two spots to play eight-letter words ending in D, one here and one here. However, I did just dr draw um, several bingos, in fact. Um, well, yeah, so the first of the bingos is this through the C. I'm going to play actinoid here. This is pretty unlikely to be blocked. It's just very difficult to play through any of these letters. Maybe a play through the M would block it. Um, however, if there were a play over on that side of the board, I would have uh, ideation doesn't fit, iodinate does fit, and tinyoid does not fit. So I guess the other possibility here <clears throat> is uh, iodinate. Um, whoops. Wow. Okay. So, so Dave is here. Dave's here, folks. Um, so, all right. So I have iodinate, tanioid, ideation. I'm just checking to see if there are any crazy overlaps. I don't think there are. Um, dilation doesn't quite fit on the board through this L. And the T, no, not quite addition. That would be two Ds, not two Ts. So I think my play here is actinoid just because iodinate is a little bit the exposure of that play. Well, let's think about it, actually. So if I put this on the board, no. If I put this on the board, the nice thing about this is that it does block the E of letterer, obviously, very conclusively, and it doesn't give back a ton back. However it does give up a pretty accessible triple here. A lot of consonants can fit off of this N. Um, actually, the ones that I'm scared about, the K is probably the easiest, scariest one. It's not impossible a Z could fit there too. The, there's one of the two Ys. That's another easy one. So maybe it's not quite as dangerous. Um, it scored 61. This play is likely to score ever so slightly better, but it leaves four more points, but it leaves the E of letterer completely open, which if there's one one lesson of defense that I've learned over and over, 
is that if you have an open E just floating in space that lets you play easy things like ED, ERS, E whatever, you know, um, blocking it is a really, really good way of <laughs> preventing your opponent from getting quite as many bingos. Um, that being said, this is an even game. I'm losing here by seven points. The extra four points are not meaningless. I could really use them. And um, I don't know. I'm just feeling like I'm not really willing to sacrifice those points here, four points, to block this E. Maybe I should be. Um, I'll go ahead and play Actinoid. I just think... You know, if it was like a one point difference, maybe two points, I would probably block this E. Um, oh, I also had IO dating to, to the G here, but I think Actinoid is clearly better positionally anyway. Okay. Next up, a bunch of uh, high scoring consonants. I'm sure that I have some fun stuff here. I at least am seeing like. Something like, oh, I was going to say, I was going to say flight, which is pretty good, but even better would be flyman. That looks pretty nice here. Even though it does give up multiple triples, it scores 44 points, which is at this point, as long as Dave does not bingo on his next turn, I'm just looking to continue to pile points on and push my lead up as much as I can. So, um, I think that's pretty good. Dave might actually be here. I'm not sure whether I should just stick stick with um, stick with the game, but I'll give him a minute or two to to make his next play. So, all right, we got. Oops. Okay, I'm very loud here. It seems like I am for some reason. So we have another move from Dave. I'm still up by 50, which is a good sign for me. He plays. Oof, just duo. So a small score, only eight points. That's what I like to see. I don't think this gives me anything better than the play I had originally spotted of Flymen, which while it does open two triples, it does block off this E, which is a really good place to bingo. I guess the L to a little slightly lesser extent. And by opening two triple word scores at once, I give myself a good chance if I draw some vowels of uh, hitting one. Another really nice thing is if I do draw enough vowels, um, I have a nice spot here for my B to come down and play alongside here. So if I were to draw something like O A, Bota, A E, Bait, or Beta, um, anything else? Uh, o A. E, e, B, bet also fits here. So there are a, a few different combinations of vowels. U, U, E, but. So many, many different two vowel combinations are going to set me up pretty huge to reparallel this. So I'm pretty comfortable with this as a good idea. Let's see what we draw. All right, I drew a butter, uh, which is... A valid seven letter word this is a, this is a word i don't think it fits anywhere um i'm just trying to think do i have anything ending in d with this i don't think so anything with three t's okay i don't think i have anything available to bingo with here but as i said no pun intended I have this for 49 points if it stays open, which this isn't the easiest place to play without a really good consonant that fits here. And frankly, there are not very many good consonants that fit in this spot still. So the M's are both played, Flyman and Ambo. This F is the second F. The other one is here with Frauds. The K is on the board here as well. So there's actually not a lot this B is kind of the last really damaging consonant that fits in that spot. So it's not going to be that easy for Dave to play here. It's possible that instead he's going to play off of the F of Flymen up this triple lane 
And if he doesn't play long enough, I might be able to play a butter. Otherwise, I get my 50-point play. So I'm in good shape here. Uh, and just hoping, hoping to dodge something super damaging from Dave, which he very well may have after playing duo for only eight here. He could easily have a bingo on this turn and make it a game again. So we shall see. All right, the score is now closer. Guessing that Dave has gotten a bingo down somewhere. And he surely has the second blank hitting the board with Kringle. That doesn't even let me play a butter anymore, anywhere, I should say. Um, again, though, I do have a very strong counterplay here. It's going to require Dave to probably dodge the Z and J if he's going to bingo again. If he gets the Z and J, he'll score some points, but I can live with that when I'm going up by such a solid amount here. So um, let me just see, am I missing a bingo through this from the C? I don't think so. Um, I have to assume here that this is the play I need to be making. How many E's are left? Two. Um, I don't really have a choice here anyway. I have to, I think this is the best choice that I have that fits the B in that spot in any case. So let's go ahead and do this and see what we get. You can see I'm going to go up by a pretty solid amount again. And drew the Z, which of the two tiles uh, between the J and the Z lurking, the Z is definitely the one I would prefer. It's going to fit here. Um, all right, another move coming in pretty quickly from Dave. I think it's not so bad in terms of score. Oh, wow. Okay. 24 points getting rid of just a D and an S. Um, you know, it only just now occurred to me that that was the first S to hit the board. A lot of S's. Um, not a ton of places to play an S productively. You know, as I as I often say in these videos, when you have an S and you're looking to get a seven letter bingo ending in S, try to imagine on the board where would it go, right? Like that's the first thing we all we know the S is a good tile, but how good in the specific situation? It's not that good here. <laughs> not only that, with so many of them out there, Dave could easily have more of them and rather than helping him they could be clogging up his rack so um okay so not a lot going on i had identified this as i think my preferred play um it does block off a lot of stuff um it occurs to me though that i have this here for 48 which is a fair number more points, which potentially I'll be glad that I have those points. Um, I think this word means like pants or something. Trousers. Yeah. Close fitting tartan trousers. Very nice. Um, oh, I, I actually have this too. Yeah, 52 points for that compared to just 39 here. I don't know. I mean, there are major defensive benefits to playing this here. It is tempting. Um, what would the worst case scenario be after this? I sacrifice uh, 13 points and then maybe Dave still manages to bingo through this T or through this D, right? So now I'm not actually blocking and instead I well let's see the score is I'm up by 43 after this I will be up by 82 that's I'm still gonna withstand plays like this pretty much every time I think but the extra points are almost certainly worth it here um, yeah, let's play Topaz. This just feels like it's it's too much more. And then 
We drew pretty well. I do have a bingo here of Aerosat. But again, not a lot of space for those seven letter words to play. Let's just see, do I have anything through this C? Don't think so, really it would be the D. Um, oddly, I did block my own possible bingo here of Aerostat. I know I just said Aerosat, which this is a word. Satellite, I think. Aerostat is a word as well to this T, but that's okay. Um, I would certainly hope that I would see it if there was a bingo through this D. I don't think there is one. So we're sort of um, powerless to bingo, but that's not really a problem. Again, I'm up by not quite 100 points. I just need to be worrying about protecting my lead and finishing out the game. So um, two tiles in the bag, only two vowels compared to seven consonants. So uh, it's gonna be very difficult for Dave to play somewhere on the interior of the board and still give himself decent chances. Um, I mean, something as simple as like roasted here. Well, that doesn't reach the, the double. I'm sure there's better things I can do that block. So anyway, I'm in good shape here. Um, let's see how many tiles Dave chooses to play. I would expect he'll play short. He'll probably play no more than two tiles on his turn to give himself one more chance to bingo. But even if he does do that, my next play is gonna put me more than enough ahead. So I think this game is going well for me here. Okay, gonna guess that this is a short play by Dave. Oh, no, he does play three tiles. Um, so that's gonna leave him without a chance of getting a bingo subsequently, just cutting his deficit a little bit. So for me, um, we can go through the motions here and try to figure out what is the best end game and how to proceed from here. So he has J-I-N-G-L-S. Um, so he has D-J-I-N-S, Jins here. That might be the best play that he has available with his J. That's not a terrifically damaging play, so I need to also see what I might have that's helpful to me. Do I have any play here? There we go. So it's possible that even with Jin's being Dave's best play that this is so much higher scoring than anything else that I have that the combination of this plus my next play is going to be better. This isn't a this isn't a situation where um, the game depends on it, but I feel like this is likely to be a good end game consisting of Strata, then Jins, and then me playing OE. Um, as always, after, I'll put as a little comment in the top whether or not that was actually the best end game, and if there was a better one that, uh, that you guys spotted, or that would be fun for you guys to know about. I'll put it as a, as a comment in the video, so. All right, looks like we're headed into the final couple moves of the game. Okay, Jin is is the play so that doesn't give me my oe play that i had hoped for um, but that's okay this is really splitting hairs at the end of the game um i don't think i really have any impressive place to play oe which gives me a little concern that maybe strata was not the best but maybe that's fine so is this the best I can do here? <laughs> uh, no, this is better. There we go. Okay, there's my 10 points that I had wanted the whole time. So there you have it. Uh, looks like it's going to be an 
a hundred ish point victory here for me I certainly had my share of good fortune in this game um so this again my second bonus round game with dave trill green he's given me a good run in each of the two he was neck and neck pretty much the whole way until um i pulled uh, a couple really good scoring racks plus the z at the end of the game to pull away so um that was fun congrats to dave again on his win in the most recent um fan group tournament and as always, I really enjoy playing these games. Um, so I look forward to the next champion who uh, I get to challenge and make a video for you guys to enjoy. So thanks for watching. And until we meet again, bye-bye.